if you've read solo leveling chances are you love to be him he's got the drip he's got the harem he's got the power he's got the status as literally the most powerful hunter in the history in the history of the most powerful human being in the history of you know humans he has literally an army of devious demons under his control <laughs> he's essentially king he is him and so how would you feel if i said that you can actually be like him that you could level up in this thing called life and become the you know strongest being strongest mortal that ever existed now of course you know it's not going to be in that fantasy shit you're not going to have you know dark devils demons and you're controlling you know fucking darkness they're gonna fucking spawn out your ass and your your fucking pure aura fucking suffocates all, all mortals and you spread fucking destruction across the entire world and you're gonna protect the world from no 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 fantasy shit and obviously no fucking 2d waifus you feel what i'm saying you're simply just gonna level up as a being and become a very strong being if anything or a mortal a strong mortal in the real world <laughs> not that fantasy setting in the real world scenario you know because well let, let's go from the beginning right because sung drip so i'm not calling him sung drip Wu, okay he did not start off as the strongest being in the world <laughs> did he he started off as the weakest the weakest that ever was you know even if he was blessed of an ability he was basically as weak as a civilian if you know what i'm saying he was a scrub a beta male and low-key, I feel like that is why a lot of people read Solo Living and can relate so much to it. <laughs> and yes, I'm basically implying your bitch. And if you don't understand why I've just implied your bitch, well, that explains it, innit? And if you understood why, you're, you're probably still a pussy with just a little bit high IQ. Well done, bro. Because chances are, you're broke. You ain't got the girl, you ain't got a harem, right? You, you ain't got any of that. You ain't got much going for you and you're probably not happy. <laughs> but you're here. You can actually be like Sundrick Rule. It's just hard. It's just going to take effort. I mean, I don't know, but he had a Jesus of he, he got to level up and, and, and he, he can level up for me a level C hunter. Self-improvement and the principles and teachings I'm going to tell you are basically cheat codes. These principles and values are used by extremely, extremely successful people. Proven to work and work time and time again by average people like you, like me. Or maybe not so average, I'm not average. Right? But, and we're not trying to be average, right, anyways, but okay, cool. You, you, get, you get the point. Oh, yeah. So I've told you that these, obviously, principles will work. If you just believe they will work, people do these principles all the time and they become successful and they become rich. Wow, I know, crazy, right? So how do you actually then become better and rise through the ranks and become a better being, a better, uh, yeah, essentially a better being? You have to make your own game system. Sangju Wu obviously got his own game system but remember no no fantasy shit no game system stat alert thingy pop window is just gonna pop up one day you're gonna go oh my god i got a stat window none of that shit gonna happen make a stat window yourself so right now pause the video do whatever grab a piece of paper just plain piece of paper line paper i don't give a fuck paper anything you can write down with not computer none of that bullshit stats window something you can take with you all right or you can actually use notion notion's like a pretty good happy traffic but get a piece of paper and you're gonna write these five things down, okay? Your physical attribute, your presence attribute, your work ethic attribute, your knowledge attribute, and your gratefulness attribute. Write these five things down. Write your name, you know, stats window. Make it pretty, you know, do all, do all types of good. This is this gonna be a stats window. This is gonna be the thing you tell yourself. This is gonna be the thing of your proof that you are OP, that you are him. You feel what I'm saying? You are him of you, yeah? Right now, you are E rank. Fucking unranked, whatever the fuck. Civilian, NPC, bot, whatever, right? Fucking bottom G, uh, whatever, whatever, Jeffrey, whatever the fuck Hamza calls you, right? That's where you are right now. Okay? Um, 
and so by doing these how I say, yeah so and then that's what you are right now right? obviously you are pussy bitch beta man whatever right? okay and that's the beauty of being of the, and that is the beauty of being a man is in which you can level up these skills and become that 10 out of 10 anyone can go from 1 to a 10 any man can go from 1 to a 10 any woman can go from 1 to 10 you just have to do the right things right so boom now those five attributes I told you um, aren't just uh, the, the, the many more attributes that can make you better but chances are you're starting out in self-improvement and you're you know or you, you're coming back from self and you've been a little fucking pussy and you can't really do it. so just focus on those five things right now don't focus on any of this extra bullshit those five things are going to reap you the most award rewards trust me when i say this the those five things are going to give you the most awards is that the 2080 or the 20 percent all you do gives you eight percent of results right so how do you level those things well it's simple your physical trait anytime you go to the gym anytime you um you know work out every, anytime you go do a sport you're essentially putting strain on your body your physical attributes you level that up so every time you do activity like that you go up by one level so you start off on level one now every time you do something like that level two every time you do something level three level four go on, keep going up keep going up right your knowledge every time you read books and obviously not reading the entire book just level up is kind of bullshit so we'll say 15 minutes of reading uh, every time, and you can do you can do like five minutes when you're starting out. You can go about one level, and you you know make yourself feel better, oh, comfy, comfy. But if you're hardcore and you're trying to be like Hemothy, fifteen minutes, and you go about one level. Books and some books I recommend: Atomic Habits, The um, Almanac of Rav- Naval Ravikant. Yeah, Naval Ravikant, one of the best books I ever read. And another book I can recommend is a uh, Super Coach. Yeah, that one, that one's a really really good book actually. Super Coach and Limited Power. Oh, but the, the book titles will be on the screen. You're, you're look, just pick a book you want to read. Um, the, the, the thing is, you just gotta get into reading, right? You, you're leveling that skill. You're leveling that to become that higher upper being. Your gratefulness. Every time you write something down, you're grateful for, and you have to specifically write. Okay, then your level goes up. For example, if you write, I'm grateful, uh, for the fact that I have all my limbs and uh, all my limbs and arms and legs intact. That your gratefulness then go up by one. Your presence every time you meditate. Literally five minutes. Every every yeah okay. Every time you meditate, uh, for five minutes, your your level goes up by one. So if you meditate for an hour a day, you can go up by twelve levels a day. I did that quick maths right there. You know And then last but not least, and this is probably one of the most important is work ethic. Every time you work. And a lot of people are going to disagree with every, even if it's shallow work, just get into the habit of working. Then you can worry about the working smart and the deep work. Get into the habit of working. Every time you work for, let's say 20 minutes, 20 minutes, your level goes up by one. And so if you stay consistent, if you stay true to yourself, eventually you'll be at a high level. Eventually you'll have stacked up enough points, enough a level of XP in, in your you know, cool little stats window to tell yourself that I'm not pussy anymore. I might still be a pussy relative to, you know, other people, but compared to what I was a week, two weeks ago, I ain't a pussy. And trust me, if you are sad and depressed right now, in two weeks, if you stay consistent just by leveling up one time a day, just showing up one time, leveling one up one time a day, in two weeks, you will not be depressed. I promise you. There has been no person who's been sticking to this consistent, sticking to those five things, doing those five things consistently for two weeks straight and came out being uh, depressed. Or not in a much better state than they were two weeks when they started. No one. Absolutely abs- none. You, you, you can't find one. And you can't find one. They haven't done it consistently. They haven't done it right. They've been bullshitting themselves. They've been lying to themselves. They've been coping. Their ego's been like, oh, but he did this. Is that kind of- no. Bullshit. 